Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem 1989 AME. We have to find out square root of 31 into 30 into 29 into 28 plus 1. We know this is a perfect square whatever is given to us. So we should get an integer uh, as an answer. Now you can solve this problem in more than one method. I will explain you both the different methods. First let me look at how we can solve it with the help of algebra. For doing that what we will do? We will take 29 as x then 28 will become x minus 1, 30 will become x plus 1, 31 will become x plus 2. Our logic is pretty simple. We want to get make this algebraic expression as a perfect square so that the root and square root will cancel out. We will get our answer in terms of x. Then we will substitute x equals to 29 in the final step. That is the first method how we want to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and multiply them inside the root. See what happens. We have x square plus 2x that is x plus 2 into x. These two when I multiply then I have to multiply these two that will be x square minus 1 and plus 1. Now let's open the bracket we will have x square whole square plus 2 into x into x square then we will have minus x square then we have minus 2x plus 1. Now certainly when we want to get a when we want to have a square root then this algebraic expression should be of the form of either a plus b whole square or it should be of the form of a plus b plus c whole square. Let us say for some time that this is of the form of a plus b plus c whole square because we have more number of terms. Now what is the formula for a plus b plus c whole square? a plus b plus c whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Now let's try to compare this with what we have and see what terms are missing or what terms need to be adjusted. We have a square here so this is a square and we have c square here that is c square because 1 square is 1 and if you are able to understand here we have a square plus 2 into a into b that tells me that b should be equals to x but we have here negative x square according to the formula we should have plus x square. So we will tweak this a little bit and see whether it will become a perfect square. So for that I will write down x square whole square that is my a square then b square is x whole square plus c square that is 1 square plus 2ab that is 2 into x into x square plus 2bc that is 2 into x into minus 1 plus 2ac that is 2 into x square into minus 1. So this is equal to square root of x square plus x minus 1 whole square that is in the form of a plus b plus c whole square. Now root and square root will cancel. You get your answer as x square plus x minus 1. But what is x square plus x minus 1? Let's go back and substitute. x square plus x minus 1 is x square plus x minus 1. That is x into x plus 1 minus 1. What is our x? 29. So 29 into 30 minus 1 that is equals to 869. Now one simple thing we have to understand here which is very important is 
when you go for a square and b c square let us say we need to have b square with plus x square because the formula gives always plus only so we have to write down this minus x square as plus x square and minus 2x square so i just want to make sure that you understood that point what is that we are doing we are writing this minus x square as plus x square minus 2x square now that will make sure that we got a perfect square so then we have our answer is 869 now let us see what is the other way to solve this problem now the other way to solve this problem is using the strategy solving strategy of whenever a complex problem is given one way of solving the problem is take simple numbers and see are we following a particular pattern if you are able to crack that pattern then it becomes pretty easy to solve the problem now you can understand that these numbers are in consecutive numbers so let us start with let us say let us say suppose instead of 28 we put 1 then next number will be 2 next number will be 3 next number will be 4 now calculate this you will be surprised to know this is square root of 25 that is equals to 5 now let us see whether this is coincidence or not so we'll try with one more numbers one more set so we'll take 2 3 4 and 5 that is equals to 20 60 120 121 that's equals to 11 now i want to try a big number and see whether this works out or not so i will go with 6 7 8 and 9 so let us check this 9 8s are 72 72 into 7 is 504 504 into 6 is 3024 plus 1 that is 3025 which is equals to 55 so this logic seems to be perfectly fine now how we can find out the relationship between these four numbers and the answer whatever we are getting if you are able to observe it is simply what is that we are trying to do is take the first number multiply with the last number and add one that is our answer now you can check that 5 into 2 is 10 plus 1 that is our answer 11 now in this case 9 into 6 54 plus 1 that is our answer 55 similarly what will be our answer now now you know this is pretty easy multiply first and last number and add 1 that is 31 into 28 plus 1 which comes to 869 that is the same answer we got earlier so sometimes instead of going for algebraic method you can just look at and substitute simple numbers and see are we having a particular pattern if you are able to understand the pattern then it becomes pretty easy to solve that problem